I'm gonna introduce our MPL 30. This is our more outdoor bag. It features more rounded organic shapes to integrate well with the body and give it a more outdoor aesthetic. Um, the textiles here are a 420D high tenacity nylon for the shell and for the lining inside. Uh, this fabric's got excellent durability to weight ratio and it's highly abrasion resistant. Um, we worked a lot on the feature set of this bag and it, we tried to give it a really clean profile so that there's not a lot of hanging straps and baubles. Uh, just to keep it nice looking and also keep it kind of from hanging up in bushes or trees or also around town, wherever you may be. So we, we worked a lot on the fit of this bag. Um, it's got these contoured shoulder straps, which are made of EVA foam. This, uh, this foam's got excellent compression resistance over the lifetime of the foam. It's really high quality. Um, it's got a curved aluminum stay that helps maintain this fit and carry the load. Um, and it's also got an integrated hip belt here, which keeps the load nice and tight um, in, in the small of the back for, for good carry. This hip belt features some little pockets that you can get at while you're wearing the bag, just for quick little things that you want while you're on the trail. And, uh, and this whole harness, it, we did it in a 500D textured nylon, and that texture gives it just a little more friction against the body for kind of better carry, and it also helps to buffer just a little bit of moisture when you're kind of getting hot and working. We oriented the pockets and zippers on this bag to work well, of course, when it's upright, but also to be able to work from the side position. Um, whether you're wearing the bag, you can get into it, or also if you're not wearing the bag when it's just seated on the ground somewhere, um, you can still get in and access all the, all the pockets that you need to. Um, it's got compression straps on the side to either compress the load or you can put you know, extra shell or uh, trekking poles or whatever you want in the outside there. It's got a side handle so you can handle it from this position and we also put a top handle so you can handle it from this position. This panel pocket has its own independent volume so no matter how you've packed the, the main portion of the bag there's room here for whatever else you may need. Um, there's also this lid pocket on top. It also has its own independent volume. Um, it's for storing more fragile items like headlamps, maybe cameras, sunglasses. Um, and this zipper is again oriented so that you could uh, operate it from the upright position or when it's down on the side, get into it nice and easy. This main panel, we put these little counter poles here so that you can easily unzip. Um, the orientation is such that you can access it partially while it's on the side. Um, also when it's upright, you can just sort of undo the, the top portion. You just sort of get in for a quick peek up top. And of course, the whole thing can open on all the way for a view of the entire contents of the bag. I'm just gonna pull this out. Um, the, the bottom cavity of here, down here, has a, has a little bucket. And this actually is, is walled off from these wing pockets. So no matter how hard you stuff things down into the bottom here, it, it doesn't alter the fit of the, of the hip belt portion. Um, there's a little loop up top here for hanging your hydration bladder. Um, and this stretch pocket accommodates that hydration bladder. It'll also fit a 15 inch laptop. Um, this pocket is a stretch woven, so it's highly abrasion resistant. And we did a really simple just fold over construction here. So there's no elastic, there's no, there's no stitching to a braid, there's no seam that catches or hangs up. It's, it's super svelte, it's super low profile. This pocket also has these little cutouts in the corner so that if you are putting a laptop or something in there, that the, the edges of, the, of your item can just kind of peek out of the corner and not get, not get too bound up. Inside the panel, um, on the top portion is a little security pocket. This would be a place to put money or ID. There's a key leash in here to keep your keys safe. Um, and, and the zipper is oriented so that when it's on the side, you can use it. Uh, similarly, this mesh pocket is mesh so you can see what's inside of it. This vertical zipper gives you a nice big opening and also is usable from the side. This is the hydration pocket. Um, let me show you the hydration exits that we designed. They're just a little low profile sleeve that exit right out the shoulder strap. And, uh, 
So this keeps your tube right where you want it. You can pull it out for longer length or you can put it back into the main body to kind of keep it tidy. Um, this strap or this hose can stow beneath the sternum strap or there's also little loops here that allow for the sternum strap adjustment. You can attach some cordage or some Velcro unwrap or whatever suits you. Um, one other feature about these compression straps uh, is this, this elastic keeper that goes on the end of the strap. So it's just a little loop of elastic. It's sewn to the end of the strap. It's always right where you need it. You won't lose it or go away. And then uh, you just roll up this strap and then pop the elastic over the top, keep it nice and tidy. And then that allows for a nice low profile package um, when you're in town or just don't have a lot of stuff in the bag. Um, also, when these compression straps are in use, um, you can still access all the pockets that you need from the bag. And that is our MPL 30.